also on the Big Gay Sketch Comedy Show. She is the inventor and founder of OffensiveWomen.com. But more than that, I have seen her in a bathing suit. Yes, was it? Or were you just wearing the shorts and the t-shirt? I actually don't remember, but she looked really good in the water. Please welcome an actual friend of mine that I have met before. <laughs> Julie Goffin! Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. Let's give it up for everyone working so hard tonight, making us laugh. Hilarity! Woo! Yeah, that's Daya Shaw right there. Suzanne, I don't give a shit. I've, I've had 16 Jack and Gingers. I'm fed up. <laughs> Dana Shaw. <laughs> the proud moments of our lives. Getting up, running through the parking lot, throwing up in the ice machine, dinosaur. <laughs> on the golf course, dinosaur. <laughs> so I'm married, and that's going really well for me. here, the drunken couples and the swinging and the mess that's in this place. But I, you know, it's hard to be here without my lady. I'm a married lady and my lady's not here. She's working. <laughs> Some sort of job. <laughs> While I'm in Dana Shore, putting my vag on a chair. <laughs> uh... It's an interesting thing, I'm sure there's couples here. Don't opposites attract, isn't that true? Opposites attract, right? No? F yourself in the eye. What are you talking about? Opposites attract, even if you're same sex, opposites attract, someone's hot, someone's cold, someone wants sex all the time, somebody doesn't! <laughs> I am a, I don't know, I, I don't understand it. I want sex all the time. I'm like a man, I feel this is what men must feel like. You have a huge c hanging out your pants all day long. This is what men must feel like. I'm uh, pent up all the time, want sex all the time. And she's always like, Julie, I'm like, please, can I do it? She's like, oh, I just had soup. <laughs> what do you mean you just had soup? What does that have to do with any, uh, you know, you know, slosh around. <laughs> she's doing and learning. 
Julia read the most incredible thing, you'll never even believe it, the dilapidization of the globalization of the third world, and if we take the triangulization of the Ethiopian, the ozone layer would open up the Nile Gore, and then it would be true. And then all the children of Africa, and we're adopting shelters, animals, and we're doing the same with my 300-page theorem paper, and what do you think of that? Oh, my God, what? I like children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like chips. Yummy. <laughs> I read Harry Potter. <laughs> and it was complicated. <laughs> um, anyway, what else? Um, so... I'm trying to embrace my lady parts recently. A friend of mine said, Julia, you're wearing the wrong bra. I'm trying to embrace my lady. Cause you know, I'm a manly lady. I'm a bushy manly lady, manly. Yes. And I was never good single either. I was terrible. If I was single at a place like this, it would just be horrible. It would just be like, how do you want to dance? No. <laughs> so I'm trying to embrace the lady parts, because you know, we got the boy and the butcher. And, the and I felt that I was, I was wearing the right bra. Because as a butch, I don't know what it is about the butchers, we have the biggest tits. We have the biggest boobs. And I still get called sir 13 times a day. What the f I will, I ain't to go into the hotel. Can I help you, sir? now. I'm just going to leave you with this. I don't want to leave you feeling 
weird or that have made, made you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you this nice little story. So, I wanna leave it on a high note. So she moves to DC, right? And we thought, okay, you know, as lesbian, gay people, whatever, you know, we don't realize, when, even when you're out, how much you have to come out on a daily basis. Because here I am thinking, I am pretty out. <laughs> There's not much more I can do. <laughs> apartments in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, and a lady shucks this lady over the phone, and she says, you know, I'm every time, we have to come out, every single time, we're going to be moving to Washington, D.C., it's going to be sitting in a apartment, and my partner, which there's a word I hate, are we Kenny and Lacey, are we solving a crime, what the f*** does that mean? <laughs> <clears throat> is going to be visiting every other week, and the lady over the phone says, oh, uh, uh, Partner, 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 partner. Now, my partner, do you mean a male partner or a female partner? So we said a female partner. And then he went, oh, you know what? That's fine. Except if you're gonna take this apartment, you're gonna have to refer to your partner as your friend, as I am trying to raise a child. <gasps> okay? okay? All right, so I said to myself, I was like, all right, you know what? We might need this apartment, so we're gonna have to work with this. So I just sort of thought through how that might be in my mind. And it might look something like this. We'd come home, and there'd little Jenny be in the, in the yard, little Jenny be in the front yard, and we'd walk up and be like, hey, little Jenny, hi, how are you? How are you, little, what? What's that? What's all over my face? Oh, that's just my friend's juice, what? What's that? That's just my friend's juice on my face. Uh-huh, it's because I rub it back and forth and up and down and from the back to the front, but don't go from the back to the front, because then you'll get a little dizzy, what, Jenny? What? I just shut my whole face in there, what? I'm Julie Goldman, thanks a lot.